Hi, I'm Dan Borsi from WorthPoint.com. I'm here with Jim Warwick, political worthologist for WorthPoint.com, also of Political Americana. Jim uh, does what they, he calls a button poll every year. Will you tell us a little bit about that, Jim? Yeah, Dan, it's um, in 1988, uh, I went out to Iowa to uh, measure the support in the Democratic primary, Republican primary for candidates because I'd been selling campaign buttons for years at rallies, and I thought, why not start measuring this and see if there is any correlation between what people buy and the way the results would turn out. And so in 1988, I knocked it out of the park. I beat the Des Moines Register. I was the only one really to pick up the Pat Robertson vote. So every four years thereafter, I would set up around the country a few weeks before, and then when I opened my own stores around the country, then we would measure button votes uh, and predict who was going to win. And so we predicted every election since 1988 correctly, except for 2000. And um, we say that we don't uh, can't account for buttons that don't get counted. Now, when, when do you release the results of your button poll? Do you do it before the election or after the election? Well, uh, if we did it after, we'd always be right. <laughs> we actually do it the day before. So we pull all our sources of where we're selling buttons and events, and we try to keep it within like a four-day period so our results are fresh. Well, you know, people take it seriously. We tell people up front that we're actually measuring this, and when you purchase the button, then we're going to put that in a poll and release it to the press. And people take it seriously, just like a telephone call poll, or probably obviously more honestly than a telephone poll. They may lie about that. And here's the reason we think it works. If people are called in a telephone poll, they may say they're going to vote, but they may not. A lot of people are ashamed to say they're not going to vote. If somebody comes up and intentionally gives you $3 for a button, and they know that that button's being tallied and released to the national press, then it's pretty reliable. So they literally put their money where their mouth is. Uh, we did see a bump up in the McCain-Palin the first week of September and second week of September. That's faded off now and now. It's not as much Obama as it was though. Back in the summer it was 8-2 to two Obama. So now it's about 6-4. Uh, well, what has it done since Sarah Palin's jumped onto the ticket with McCain? Has that Have you seen a spike in the McCain buttons? Yeah, good question. We've never seen this before that a VP candidate actually pushed the ticket up or down in any way and this one we were getting a lot more requests for Obama material as opposed to uh, McCain but when he added Palin people not only wanted more McCain Palin they actually wanted just Palin campaign buttons and uh, we hadn't seen that and the same way with Obama they really still would rather have just an Obama button than Obama Biden so it's uh, the, the lower part of the ticket under McCain is more popular, and the top of the ticket is more popular on the Democratic side. So we've never seen that before. But Wow, great system. So, uh, I'm interested to see the results the day before the okay. election. Look Hopefully, for them on November the 3rd. So you're, you're telling me preliminary here that you think Obama's going to win the button poll. If the election were held today, my, my numbers today, I would say it's uh, uh, 56 um, uh, let me say this, 55-42, and then you've got the Nader and the Barr vote in there somewhere, but I'd, I'd say around 55-42-43, uh, Obama, that much, yeah. Well, Jim, thanks for your time, Thank and you. I look Thank really you. forward to seeing the results. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you.